job today. Okay, we're going to get started with our black ones around page eight. Do some warm ups on page eight. Please get ready as quickly as you can. We still have some people yet to come today, but we'll go ahead and get started with what we have to do. We're going to be doing some review stuff today. I'd like everybody to uh, acknowledge the presence of Mr. Albright and give him a wave to the camera there. Hi! Wave, wave, okay. Now, he's going to be in here uh, kind of seeing how I do as a, as a teacher and how you guys do as students. And he's going to be doing this for a report in a class that he had. So I'd like you to be on your best concert etiquette today. And remembering all that we've discussed about how to get the instrument in tune and how we're going to talk about how to uh, produce the good sound. All right. We've got a few stragglers coming in. Go ahead and get set up and join with us as quickly as possible. Yes. I can't hear you. You need a stand. Well, then I would suggest you go get one. All right, I would like everyone to turn in their black books to page 18. Okay. Or excuse me, page 8, number 18. Section B, Section B is in Baker. We have what type of a note all the way throughout? Say it as a class. Whole. Yes, it's a whole note. As a class, how many counts does a whole note get? Four. 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 Excellent. You see that little comma, that little apostrophe after each one of the whole notes. What does that mean, class? Take a breath. Take a breath. You bet. Okay, so we're going to play, and then when we take a breath, what is it that we do? You bet. Change the notes. Change the notes. To be ready to play that next note. All right, let's see some proper concert etiquette with the horns down in our laps, because you notice where I'm standing. I'm standing beside the stand, not behind it. Okay, everything looks good so far. Concert etiquette, here it is. And, and, excellent job, excellent. Here it is. Section B, full notes. One, two, three, four, one. I couldn't hear you. 
We're doing number 18, the one that we've always been doing. Here we go. Roll on those whole notes. One, two, three, four, one, two, ready, roll. Roll, two, three, change. 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 Roll, two, three, off. All right. And that last one, of course, we are going to hold out for longer. Longer amount of time. Now that we have people together, okay, as far as the rhythm goes, and as far as knowing to play that first whole note, take a breath, change to the next whole note, take a breath, change to the next whole note, now that we have that understood, let's go back now and do it in a, in a more precise manner there. Section B. I'm going to step away from the stand. Your horns should do appropriate action. Okay. Trumpet players, notice the positioning of the bell. Yes. Okay. Also, where do the feet belong, class? Flat on the floor. You bet. Yes or no? Should you have a small arc in your back when you play? Yes or no, class? No. Absolutely yes. Yes. The reason why, and remember, Mr. Freebie always gives you a reason why. The reason why is because if you're hunched over like this, and your, your shoulders are forward, then you're starting to look like a normal person. Well, that decreases your lung size. Look at my lungs right now. If I try to breathe. Can't do it. Not effectively anyway. Okay, but if I sit up with my shoulders down, okay, I don't breathe in my shoulders. You don't see me breathing like this. Okay, I don't breathe like that. I breathe from my diaphragm area, this gut area right in here. And it's a two-stage breath. The first stage is this lower part here that breathes out like this. The second stage is this upper part of your chest that breathes after the lower part. So the whole thing looks like this. Now you can see two stages of the breath that way. One down here, one up here. And one thing is very, very important about being able to do that. I have a little curve in my back. That makes me sit up straight. I sit on the edge of my chair. My feet are flat on the floor so that I can tap. And when I breathe in, I get a nice full lungs of air. Nice full lungs of air. All right, let's try it. Here is number 18. Remember, tap that foot. Keep your tempo going steady for us, okay? Here it is. And try it again. Perfection, thinking with one brain. Everybody's thinking off one brain here. Okay? And try not to hit the stands. Instruments. Up. Good job. Here it is. Percussion, be ready. That's correct. One, two, three, four, one. Section B.
of which is this, half. The second beat looks like this, note. So we have half note, half note. Now, raise your hand if you can demonstrate for us what a half rest would be like. A half rest. identify what a phrase is. A phrase is a musical sentence. It's where, it's like if I had a sentence to tell you in English, I would say, I would say, well, let me, let me finish here because I think you'll understand a little bit better after I explain it to you. If I say, hello, Jay, my name is Mr. Freedy. 
That's a sentence, right? Okay, at the end of that sentence, I would take a breath. Are you following with me? Yeah. After I take a breath, then I start another sentence. And then I would start another sentence. So I'm asking you for the first phrase. How many bars do you play before you take that first breath or you play the first phrase? How many? Exactly right. Exactly right. And you identified that because here you had two bars and then what? A breath. A breath mark. Right. How many bars is the next phrase? Two. How many bars is the last phrase? And be careful. Four. Exactly right. Exactly right. Okay? Because you notice one, two, three, four, and then you're at the end of the song. And of course you're going to take a breath after you play the end of the song. Okay? Yeah. You identified the phrases? Absolutely right. So we have a two bar phrase, folks. Let's uh, count and clap this, please. Counting and clapping. Hands up. Hands up. Feet, where should they be? If possible, on the flat on the floor. I think it's all possible for everybody. All right, here we go. Make sure your instruments aren't going to fall onto the floor. Okay? Hi, Olivia. Here we go. Number 22. What? Oh, need hands for the percussion. Hands for the percussion. Okay? And remember percussion, when we do the counting and clapping exercises, you read the other page that has the half notes and the, and the whole notes and the quarter notes on it. Okay? You read the bell part when we clap. That's what we discussed earlier, that we would always do that. Read the other page and we count and clap. All right. Here it is. Number 22, making muffins. And hands up. One, two, three, four. One. Half note.
Okay, as they're going through the music, you're reading your music too, and playing the music in your head, but you're just, all you're doing is really fingering or doing the slide position. You're not really playing. Okay? Trumpet players, trumpet players, horns up. We have three notes in this whole song that are different. We have an E, a D, and a C. Is that right? Okay. Any combination of the notes is either going to be an E, a D, or a C. There are no other notes. Show me the fingering for an E. Perfect trumpet section. Show me the fingering for a D. Perfect again. And a low C. Perfect again. All right. Let's try it. When, we, when you play the half note E, do you sit there and hold out that E for a real long time? No. You go on to the D. Then you go on to the C. Okay. Let's try it. Here we go. Half note. Perfect. Now the C. 
this middle, right? Perfect, perfect. Now, those are the only three notes that you've got, so those are the only three you're going to be working with. If you can remember the E here, the D here, and the C there, you've got it made. Okay, Elizabeth, let me hear you, please. You're the B, A, and G. Play B, A, G. Okay, that first note was a little bit awkward because you were pressing one of these side keys. Also, please don't press this over here. Okay, yeah, but see this one? You're pressing that on this one, and this key's opening up up there. Okay, try it again. Okay, that's pretty good. Remember to lo roll that lower lip over the bottom teeth. Okay, and the top teeth are on the mouthpiece. Try it again. Roll that bottom lip. Okay, look here at this one. Well, look, look at me. See how I'm making that lip thin? You're doing this. I'm making it real thick. We want it just barely. No, don't suck it back like that. Just barely over the, over the teeth. Yeah, try that. That looks good. Okay, what, what we're going to need to have you do is uh, try, and just, try and just play one B natural out, out solid, okay? See how I'm able to move that mouthpiece back and forth? That means that you're not gripping down on the mouthpiece enough, okay? So you have to get the corners of your mouth firmed up. All right, try it again. There you go. Okay. Well, I don't know what you're doing with the tongue, though. Okay. So try and try and get that. I tell you what. Get the same sound that you're used to getting. Okay. That that seems easy for you. And then when I start to wiggle the mouthpiece in your mouth, tighten down on the mouthpiece so that I can't wiggle that without shaking your head back. Okay. Try that. Get the good sound that you always get. Okay, hold that sound out for a long time. Okay, do you understand what I'm asking you to do? When you get that good sound, and I start to wiggle that, start to clamp down so that I can't wiggle. I don't think you've got your top teeth on the black mouthpiece. Are you okay over there? Everybody all right? No catastrophes, no disasters? Okay. All right, try it again, Elizabeth. Okay, but you see, you're pressing this one down. That's the only problem. Okay, try it again. Okay, did you feel me pushing up on your teeth that time? As soon as I did that, your sound got a little bit bigger. So that should tell you that if you've got those top teeth on the mouthpiece, right there, and the bottom teeth covering that, that lower, those lower teeth a little bit, That'll work better for you. All right. All right, let's hear it, Sean. Okay, B A G. Let me hear the B first. Pop up in the air. So 
when it does that, then you get the squeaks and the squawks real hot. Okay? But if it's over like that, then see, you can still press it. It'll come up, but, but it's not going to be up all the time. Okay? Try that B again. Just the B. notes that you're playing, you're playing E, D, and C, but you're playing B, A, and G. Let's hear it, saxophone section. Everybody together now. Everybody together. Play through the slide positions, please. Play through the drumming positions, the bell positions, the flute positions, the clarinet positions. Okay, play through them all. Here we go. Saxophones changing one note right after another. Play out real strong, plants so the saxes can hear you. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, one. Pushing the teeth back, back in your mouth, pushing the teeth up. Okay, yes. Alright, let's have everyone give it another shot. Let's go. Everyone, everyone, full band, full band. Here it is. Making muffins, number 22. I'm going to be especially listening to clarinets, flutes, percussion, and trombones this time. Here it is. Where am I standing?
number 23. We have a lot of quarter notes here, folks, a lot of quarter notes. Please count and clap. Here it is, hands up. Counting and clapping, please. Hands up, trombones, there you go. Make sure your trombones aren't gonna fall over. Yeah, percussion, read the bell part. Number 23 bell part, here it is. Gordy, did you have a question? Okay, hands up this way so I can see you. Here we go. Hello! How you doing, Miss Taylor? Alright, here we are. One, two, three, four. Count and yell. Ready? Go! then you're going to have to hold it with your hands, and if you have to hold it with your hands, you can't play the keys, right? Makes sense, doesn't it? Okay, here we go. Question. Time is about 15 minutes to lunch. Okay, 15 minutes to lunch. All right, here it is. This is Merrily We Roll Along. Notice we have many different quarter notes. This time I'm going to be in the percussion section, helping them to count. Okay, helping them to count, and I would like all of you to be playing as if you see a director up here. Make sure you're tapping that foot. Here it is. Instruments to ready position. Instruments up. Here it is. One, two, three, four. One, two, ready, play. What 
we got on that second beat? A rest. Yes, we need to play that rest. Okay, please follow along in your music. Know what's going to happen. You're on every beat, you're doing something. Either you're playing a quarter note or you're resting. Okay, let's try it again. Here it is. Horns up. Bam. Horns up. One, two, three, four. Change a lot. Ready and play. Quarter, 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 hold. Here it is. 
One, two, three, four. Every arm else follow along and play. three notes that we have. The last three notes in that one. Where is that? I'm reading upside down. Here we go. The D, C, and B flat. B is in what position? Help him out, Jay. Fourth. Yes. Fourth. Now, if D is in fourth, where is C? Well, the high C is in third, yes, but the low C is... Six. How about the low B flat? You're right. You're right. Okay. Let's take it. Here we go. D, C, B flat, four, six, one. Here it is. One, two, ready. Count, count. Are you reading? How many beats? How many beats? Wait. How many beats do they get, Nicholas? How many beats does half note get? Half a beat. I think so. It's half of a whole note. How many does a whole note oh, get? Two. Yes. Well, a whole note gets four, but yeah. you answered the other question, which is how much does a half note get, which is two. That's correct. Okay, so you have to say to yourself, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Try it, Nicholas. Go ahead and try it along with him, Jay. I'll hear the trombone section over here. What? Okay, but what position are we starting in for that D? Four. Yeah. Okay. One, two, ready, play. Oh, no. Half note. Hold that whole note. You got the, the first half note and the last whole note, but what position is that C in? Oh, okay. Okay. Four, six, one. That's the that's the order. Here we are. One. Two, ready, play. Four, six, one. And that was just right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I know it's hot, folks. I know it's hot. Let's see. Um, we've got five minutes. Okay, number 26. Number 26. You see a new idea there on number 26, a new idea. What is our new idea? Please identify it for us, Spencer. What's the new idea? Repeat sign, what does it mean to do? Exactly correct, yes. Perfect. Play a section of music over again. Now, I will tell you this. It's not on your music, but I want you to know it. Okay? Baron, I want you to know it, too. A repeat sign can either take you back, whoops, this way, back to the beginning of your music, or it can take you back to another what? Yes, another section of music, but another, set, another repeat sign. Okay. You can either go back to the beginning, which you'll do here. That's what you're going to do there. You're going to repeat it back to the beginning of the music. Or you can repeat back to another repeat sign. And that other repeat sign does not have to be at the beginning of the music. It can be anywhere. It can be one major before that. Let's try it. We are going to clap and count first. This is playing more half notes and rests. 26, clapping and counting. We will repeat it one time. No. The thing keeps moving. Okay, let's see if I can.
minutes left, folks. We're going to have to get this blitzing in here. I want to see if we can play at least one song on page 10. One song on page 10. Have your, have your choices ready. I might call upon some of you to give me a choice on page 10. Here it is, number 26. Have your books open to 26. Number 26 on page 9. Instruments, which are your hands up, hands, hands. Instruments down, hands up. Hands up, hands up. Hands up, let me see those hands. Percussion, you're reading the bell part. There it is, number 26. One, two, three, four, yell it. Two, ready, and.
Robin Cousins take to the ice in a timeless favorite. Don't miss these two Olympic gold champions together with JoJo Starbuck and special guest Lauren Green in The Nutcracker, a fantasy on ice. Today on HBO.